Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here and we are back for our NHL 16 B a GM following the Philadelphia Flyers as we are going to be entering the resign stage and possibly free agency in this video. So we did a lot of stuff last time for our first draft of NHL 16 and I just wanted to do a little overview for you guys of all the trades that did happen during that draft day and there were actually a lot of them. San Jose, it kind of made sense that they took in Andrew McDonald as uh, we move up the list and you'll see some of the players that they got away. So uh, one of the trades that we made was giving uh, Andrew McDonald and a third round pick which was Boston's pick from the Zach Ronaldo trade to the San Jose Sharks. In return, we got Timo Mier and Nikita Jepilov. So Timo Mier, a 20, 2015 ninth overall pick, low potential to become elite. So he joins our team. And then Nikita Jepilov's a high potential for, I believe, a bottom six forward. who was pretty unhappy in San Jose, but now he becomes part of our team because his trade value is really low. And uh, the third round pick, we didn't really give up much for it because we had four third round picks coming into next year's draft. So giving up a third is not a big deal. And then we also just picked up an extra sixth round pick from the Carolina Hurricanes for Nick Schultz. So uh, that was the only trades that we made. We also got rid of the two mil cap from uh, Nick Schultz, and we did not retain any cap on Andrew McDonald. So his whole contract is gone as well as Nick Schultz's. So we're sitting pretty with a big, big lot of cap room. So here were the other trades that just happened that the CPUs made. So San Jose got Chris Dreiser and Mikhail Wickstrand from Ottawa for Joel Ward. Nashville got Andrew France from Edmonton for a third and Jonathan Diaby. Tampa Bay got Paul Martin from San Jose for Adam Ernie and Cameron Darcy. Uh, the Canucks got a second round pick from Detroit, Turgeon and Martin Furk for Henrik Sedin. Uh, Dallas got Francois Boschman from Colorado for a third. And then San Jose got Todd Bertuzzi, uh, Patterson and Holmstrom for Patrick Marlowe. So the Detroit Red Wings got Henrik Sedin and Patrick Marlowe. I swear if Henrik Zetterberg and Pavel Datsuk are still on their team, that's going to be absolutely hilarious. So we do have some player meetings to do here first before we uh, continue along here. Omar, not really happy with that trade. Okay, trading away Andrew McDonald was a tough pill to swallow. Okay, uh, look, hockey's a business. Sometimes you have to make decisions that are tough. It was a hard decision. I'm sorry to affect you that way. Look, I think the trade will make us a better team. I need you to understand that. Uh, negative effect on morale. Trading Andrew, uh, same thing uh, with Goudas. So, um... We're from the wrong on them. I can see how they work with us, trusting us. No effect on morale. I'm not happy that you chose us to trade away Andrew McDonald. It really changed the locker room for me. It was a hard decision. Sorry, effect you. Uh, sometimes you have to make decisions that are tough. Let's be hard on Gagne. Positive effect on Sam Gagne. Okay, so that's good that had a positive effect on Gagne. So Gagne kind of likes to be affected, like, hard-nosed wise. So that's uh, good to see there. Any AHL guys? Maybe Jepilov's in the air. Yep, Jepilov's doesn't want to meet with us as well. Okay, so he's pretty happy. Uh, glad to join the team. I'll make sure this trade looks good for you. Don't get complacent. We're always evaluating our roster. Welcome, Babor. I think the uh, I think we got fair 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 deal with that trade. So don't let me down. We know you can bring a lot to the table, which is why uh, you know I think we got fair deal with that trade. So don't let me down. Uh, negative effect on him. Of course it did. Why why would it have a positive effect on him? I don't know. That's always great. Okay. So I wanted to have, hopefully have a positive effect on him, but that's not great. Okay, so let's switch up to the NHL here and let us uh, sim to the re-sign stage and let's get all the players that we want to get back. All right, so let's uh, go to our contracts here and enter the re-sign stage so we can actually take a look at all of our players' overalls as well. All right, so let's start in the back end since I don't think we need to make anything as well. Uh, Steve Mason did want to have a player meeting with us. Oh, we can buy out players too. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. I always knew that we could buy out players. Okay, so there's that Ranford guy who's low potential for a uh, fringe starter. He was that uh, he was that seventh round pick. Yeah, so he was there. Rose Hill was that uh, seventh round pick as well. So two seventh round picks that we picked up for those guys. I think we'll let them unsigned for right now. Sandstrom needs to be resigned. Stolars and as well as Matei Tomek. So, um, Matei has low potential to become a backup, so I think I am going to sign Matei for a three-year deal on a two-way. So let's hopefully get Matei back. Uh, Sandstrom, I'm going to leave Sandstrom. I might release Sandstrom. Low potential for an AHL starter. I'll hold off on him for right now, but we'll see. So defenseman, uh, so Delzato's fine, Gossis Bear. 
the way I realized it too, I can just go to like all expiring guys and that makes it a lot easier for me to narrow it down. All right, so Davis Drew Whiskey, I don't think I'm gonna need him here since I think Provorov and Sandheim are gonna be on the AHL squad this year. So I'm gonna release Davis Drew Whiskey. I don't need him. Uh, let's see, so Luke Shen, Mark Alt, he was a pretty solid player. So I think I would not mind getting him back for at least two more years. So let's get Mark Alt back on a two-way deal there. Uh, Gudas, yep, we definitely want to try to get Gudas back. Uh, two years at three mil. Uh, let's go for, yeah, that's, you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. Three years, so three and then one. So 2.650 for Radko Gudas for two years on a one-way deal. All right, Brandon Manning. Yep, I definitely want to get Brandon Manning back. Uh, three years. Yeah, I'm going to sign you for a one-year deal, Brandon. I want to see what you can bring next year on a two-way. Uh, Evgeny Medvedev, I do want to re-sign Medvi. Uh, once again, just to a one-year deal because he's getting old. Obviously, he's 34. Uh, let's get him at a two-point. Let's get him at a 2.75 or 1.775. That'll be a solid trade if we get him back. And then obviously Luke Shen, I'm gonna get him back as well. Uh, kind of the same deal with Gudas is on. So 2.750, I think would be good for uh, Luke Shen for two years. Okay, so there we go. There's the defenseman right wingers. Uh, Brandon Alderson. Derek Mathers, I know I'm going to release. No point. I really want Derek Mathers on this team. Okay, uh, Gosses Bear is going to lose morale because of that. So he's the only one that lost morale. Uh, Palujai. McDonald. Is this defensive category still good? Still decent for like injuries and stuff like that if we do decide to turn them back on the regular season. So I think I'm going to off, or yeah, he does want a two-way, so that's good. I'll offer him up a two-way for McDonald for one year. Brandon Alderson, he's still 24, so you know what? I think I'll offer him a contract as well. One-year deal. Just offer up a bunch of these guys some one-year deals. Palujai was a good addition on the AHL squad, so offer him up a one-year deal as well on a two-way. Just get a bunch of these guys back that I want. And uh, I think that's good there. Oh, Ryan White, I'll hold off on you for a minute. Uh, Case, David Case, 19 years old. Limbaum, Limbaum's got good potential. Porter, I think I'm gonna let go. Yeah, I'm gonna let Chris Porter go. Cause I definitely need to free up some contracts. What I'm talking about here, and then centers. Uh, Brent, I'm gonna get rid of Brent's contract. I think that's it. So Samuel Doe McFalls, we know we're going to leave him unsigned. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll look at my prospects in a minute, too. But I think that's fine. Right wingers. Alderson, Palujai, White. Yeah, let's let's get Ryan White back. Ryan White, I think he's going to be solid there for, once again, a fourth line roll. So 1.5. 1 and then a half. So 1.45 for Ryan White for one more year. That'll be a solid addition on their fourth line. Left wingers. Uh, Case, I'm going to leave... I'm going to qualify David Case. Because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to sign him on yet. Because in case there's somebody else I want to sign. But Limbaum definitely needs to uh, be re-signed here. So let's get Oscar Limbaum back. Because he's got the good potential. Uh, Michael Roffel, we need to get him back. Three years at 2.7. Roff, I'm going to offer you two years. Once again, I want to keep this like two-year trend going. 2.750, so 2.5450, I think I can offer you for two years. And then Straka, I need to get him back. Two-year deal for, actually, yeah, two-year deal for Straka. See what here Straka has to give. And then Centers, Nick Cousins, we need to get him back. I want to sign Cuz to a three-year deal. Like that. Uh, Sam Adobin is going to leave off Sam Gagne, uh, the two-year deal. Yep, it's fine. I just want to sign all these guys to two-year deals. So 2.6, so 2.4, actually 2.3 for two years for Sam Gagne. Solid trade there. Or solid deal, I should say. And then Braden Shen. I want to see if I can get Braden Shen long-term. Okay. Uh, so eight years, he's only going to be up to 4.7, as he's asking for. So I do want to make sure I sign him a decent amount. I'm going to sign Shen for a five, uh, four years will bring him up till he's 28, 
three years will bring him up till he's 27. Two years will bring him up till he's 26. Uh, three year and four years don't really change his contract length, so I'm going to see if I can get him for four years. That'll be a solid deal if Shen can actually increase his potential. All right, so three and then one, so 3.55 mil for Braden Shen for four years. Good, and let's go out of here and let's advance a day and see how many players that we get back. So let's advance a day. And then I'll check uh, things. Okay, so uh, Evgeny Medvedev rejected. Uh, I don't think that this team has what it takes to do so. Money, more money may pursue me, okay. Uh, Raffle's good, Gagne's good, Luke Shen is good. White, good ass, Braden Shen accepted that. Good, McDonald, Palujai, Brandon Manning, Alderson, the Cousins, Straka, Alts, Tomek, Limbaum, good. Okay, so we can just go to contracts here, just get Medvedev back, and we should be Good to the roll here, and then I'll check out the prospects and my players. Alright, so we just need getting Medvedev is all that we need. All expirings. Getting Medvedev. Okay, so he wants two years at 2.1. Um, like I said, I just want to sign you for one year at two, one year at two mil should be fine for Medvedev. We have we have this cap. We have the cap. We have a 1.725 retained cap, but we have 11 mil in cap space currently, so we have plenty of cap to work with, which is fantastic for this team. So let's just advance the day again. Let's see if we get Med V back for two mil on one year deal. Uh, he's still rejected. Wow, wow. Medvedev is a bit stingy, so I think I'm just gonna have to offer him one year then. One year at uh, that off at the money that he wants. All right, so one year at the money that you were or that you wanted. Two years he wants two point one. I'll give you one year at two point one. Hopefully you take that Medvi. I don't want to go up any higher than that. Advance a day. Okay, there you go. Offer accepted. There you go. Okay, so Medvi's back. Good. Okay, so now I can go to my contracts here and I can just take a look at all those prospects now and look at their potentials and their overalls. So, goaltenders, we got Mace, I gotta have a meeting with him. Neuvirth is still good. Ranford, Rosehill, Sandstrom, Stolars, and Tomek. Oh, I gotta make a decision on Sandstrom. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna release Sandstrom. I'm gonna release Felix Sandstrom because I got Ranford and Rosehill here are gonna be better than him by the time he's ready, so uh, it's unfortunate, but I need to release him, so unfortunate there. All right, the defenseman here, Mark Alt, we know about, Delzato, good, good ass, Manning, I just want to look for the prospects here, Shen, Streit, Davis, Goss Despair, uh, Davis, he was the guy we drafted, Kevin Davis, yes, yeah, seventh defenseman, high potential for that, 61 overall, Morin Pedersen, Provorov, Sandheim are both the same overall. And then there's Thrower's brother, so he really wasn't anything too special. Uh, McDonald, he's at 81 overall now, which is nice. Matt Reed, uh, we have to have a meeting with him. Palujai, 77. Wayne Simmons. Vortacek, Ryan White, Alderson, Kubo. Uh, okay, so there's Julian Gauthier. Julian Gauthier is a 18-year-old, low potential for a top six forward. Uh, I'm not going to sign him right away. We're going to let him play in the CHL. We're not going to sign him right away because I don't think there's going to be any room on the forward core in the AHL, I want to say. I want to say right now, I don't think there's going to be any room, but I definitely will uh, check on him. There's Timo Mier. We got to have a meeting with him. Still 70 overall, which is fine. Jeff Poplops moved up to a 69, so that's not terrible once again. Uh, Kubal, he's right there. Uh, ooh, all by cool. Oh, yeah, that's what his uh, overall was. Yamamoto, high potential for bottom six, 64 overall for him. For Kino, left wingers. Once again, I just want to take a look at these overalls. Straka, Fazli, yep, all these guys are fine. Centers, uh, Cuz is fine. Coots, Jen, we have a lot of centers now. Uh, Samuel Dobin Falls, Gregor. There was that Gregor guy. Uh, Noah Gregor, who was a sixth round pick, that's solid, Six, uh, only 17 years old, Konechny's good, LaBerge, another guy right there, Lawton, Magali, uh, Noel, low potential for a top nine, not going to sign any of these guys yet, just because there's not going to be any room on our team until we make some room. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go into free agency, but actually we should do our player meetings first, and then go to 
Free agency, I'm going to double check the contracts once again too because I do need to uh, analyze the team and who uh, actually is there. Okay, so. It's Mason, in training way, Andrew McDonald was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, hockey's business, sometimes you have to make decisions. I ch Actually, Mason is the kind of guy who likes to be complimented, and we kind of have to feel sorry for them. I'm sorry that it affected you that way. Positive effect on morale, yeah. Steve Mason kind of likes those. Uh, he likes to... He, he doesn't like to be... We don't have to be hard on Mace. We have to be kind of nice to him. You made the locker room a less enjoyable place for me after you trade away Andrew McDonald, so uh, that's unfortunate. Reader, but uh, I think the trail bacon bake us a better team. I need you to understand. Now, let's see if Reed is a hard nosed guy. Nope, he's not. So we have to be, we have to be kind of nice on Reed as well. Okay, so Reader has to be definitely has to be nice too. And let's see the AHL guys. I know Team Amir wanted a meeting. Uh, did he? Amir, where are you? No, guess not. Chris Vandevelde is a little bit disgruntled. He's the only guy who's a little bit anguished down there. But okay, we're fine there. We're fine there in the AHL and the NHL, so we can uh, simulate to free agency because I believe we are done. We have a restricted uh, free agent, which is uh, David Case, but he's going to resign, obviously. We can make we can make some trades for players if we so choose, but uh, right now the trading block I think is fine, so we can go into free agency. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at our team because I think the team is exactly the same. But let's just double check and see what contracts for both teams. For both teams. Let's see what we have working with for us. Okay, so let's go to the goaltenders here for the main roster. So we have Steve Mason and Michael Neuvert. That's perfectly fine in the system. I think we're going to have Anthony Stolarz be the starter now. And we might put Matei as the backup instead of Connor Knapp. So we can have that one-two punch going for us there in the AHL. So that'll be fine. Uh, defenseman, we're going to have, uh, we are going to have Mark Streitz. So let's just count these out. Uh, Delzato, Gudas, Manny, uh, Delzato, Gudas, Medvedev, Shen, and Streit. So we're going to need one person up here. Might be Brandon Manning if he gets a nice little overall boost or could be somebody else in our, uh, in the system. Because Alt and Manning are both up here. Uh, as for our... AHL players. I think we're gonna have. I think we're gonna have a solid defensive core because I think we're gonna have Gostas, Bear, Hag, Moore, and Provorov, and Sanheim all starting on the defense core in the AHL. Um, I think Alt can go down there as well. So I think our defense in the AHL is gonna be solid this year. Definitely solid with all of our prospects playing where they should be. Because Sanheim's 20, he can play in the AHL. I think Provorov can play in the AHL now as well too. So I think our defense is gonna be solid. And uh, hopefully maybe one of them gets a jump and then we could switch it around. But I think Manning might be the guy or we could probably just sign a depth defenseman just in case. All right, right wingers. McDonald's up here. Pelujai, Reed, Simmons, Vorchek, and Ryan White. And then all these guys will be able to play. Mir has to play. Jeff Palavs, I want him to play too. Uh, Yamamoto we can leave unsigned because he's 20. I want to wait till they get around 70 overall before I sign them. Same thing with Julian Gauthier. I don't want to sign him just yet. Even though he's got low potential for a top four, I wanted to play in the uh, play in the CHL for a little bit more. Main roster, guys. I think we're good. Let me just go to the main roster and look at my forwards because I think I have this exact same forward core. All right, let's just sort it by overall. Because there's a lot of guys up here. I have to do roster moves, obviously, when the time comes. But Drew Vorchek and Simmons. Shen, Couturier, and maybe Gagne or Rothel. We still need that second liner, which sucks. Kutz is down to 83. Well, Kutz is a third liner. Right? Kutz was a third liner. Right? Yeah. No? Maybe? I forget. Lawton. Lawton's going to be up here as well. I keep forgetting about that. So let me see. So it's going to be uh, Giroud, Voracek, Simmons. I'm just going to count them off. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, Lawton makes 10. McDonald might be 11. Belmar might be 12. So I think there is my starters right there. I could use another one if I see one. But uh, my forward core is good. And then the system. Lawton's up to an 83, so obviously he'll get called up. And I think we should be pretty good to go. Yeah, I think we're fine for forwards. I think we're going to keep together the same team that we did. But we might want to trade away some like contracts. If we need to, um, 
How many contracts do I currently have right now? Uh, I could probably just go to like trade. I could go to my trade block and actually see how many contracts I currently have. Trade and improve, proposed trade. I currently have 43 out of 50 contracts, so I still can sign some more guys. But we are fine as it is right now. All right, so let's go into free agency and see who is available. Like I said, the only thing I might want to pick up is a defenseman. So let's go for under strict, uh, let's just go for forwards here. And then we can go to UFAs. Let's see who's available for forward wise. So Yuri Hoodler, Andrew Ladd, Dave Perron, Darren Helm, Bergenheim, Lewis Abdelkader, Glenn Cross, Boys Moore, Eves. So there's a lot of good forwards out there. A lot of depth players that you could obviously sign one if you need to. Maybe we could sign one fourth line guy just in case. Just in case one fourth line guy for cheap would not be bad. Uh, defenseman is definitely the one thing I want to look at though. UFAs for defenseman. Keith Yandel a little bit too much. I don't want to spend on him. I would be fine with the top six role for right now. Which would be a guy like... Jordy Ben? No, I would want somebody in this range. In like the 82 range. So maybe like a guy... Like... I don't know who I would want. Who would I want in this area? I don't think I would want Ryan, Ryan Stanton. I want UFAs. Maybe a guy like... Well, Donovan's not bad because he's got the potential. I'm looking at all these guys with their defensive categories. I don't want Frazier because he's going to take penalties. Uh, Straight's not terrible. Ben Lovejoy is actually pretty solid defensively. Ben Lovejoy might not be a bad option. Mike Weber's not terrible either. Same thing with Chris Butler. He's pretty good. Chris Butler actually looks really solid as a defensive defenseman. Well, we already have one defensive defenseman, Luke Shen. I think I would want a two-way guy. I would probably want a two-way guy to make up for McDonald's. So Lovejoy could be a really good option. Um, John Michael Lyles. Eh, another offensive defenseman wouldn't be terrible. We need more of them. Well, we have Delzada too. So yeah, two-way guy is definitely something I want to look for. Volchenkov, no. Jordy Ben. Irwin. Matt Irwin wouldn't be terrible either. Uh, BXN, no. Phillips. No, Yannick Weber, no, Grossman, no, Campbell, no, Brewer, no, Kyle Quincy, eh, I don't want to teal on my team. Christian Erhoff, Jason Demers, but he's already, like, he's, Demers would be solid, but I don't want to pay that much for Jason Demers. He's 28, two years left, I don't need, like, defense, I need, like, rental defense him right now. So I think a guy like uh, Ben Lovejoy would be a solid, solid addition with really good defensive awareness. As like a two-way guy, I think Ben Lovejoy would be a solid guy to pick up there. So I'll definitely add him on my list, but you guys can obviously uh, put your options in there as well. We can look for prospects, see if there's like any really, really good potential prospects. Uh, well, just I'll go to all unrestricted or restricted. Actually, you no, know I do want to go for unrestricted like potential players. So the only one would be Matt Tennyson from the San Jose Sharks. He was already 26, so I really wouldn't matter. Uh, this Bryson Martin is up there. But he's got high potential for top six. So there's really nothing out there I would want. Trevor Rand, that TBR is up there, Trevor Van Reemsdyke. But I, I want guys who have like the top four potential at least. I don't really want the top six potential. Even though the, some of the guys are young. Like Leopold, he's only 19 and 64 overall. But that's, that's not really what I want right there. Uh, so defensemen there. Let me just see. Right wingers. God, you, free agency is so much quicker now. Uh, Karabek, Karabacek, Karabacek. Uh, he's top nine. Low potential for Ted and B. All these bottom six guys. There's not really anything I want there. Uh, McMillan and Beck. No, not the really great there. And Cornell would be the only guy maybe I could pick up. Eric Cornell is a center two-way forward. He'll be the only guy I would possibly want to grab up. Other than that, nothing too crazy there. And then goaltenders, let me just see for goaltenders, prospect-wise. Two starters in Byzantine and McCollum. Tukarski's up there. Erickson, who's 19, who's a fringe starter, Jesper Erickson. But I already got my goaltenders that I picked up, so I'm not looking for goaltenders either. And uh, let me just look for main guys for goalies. Who's the best goaltenders out there? 
which would be overall wise. Uh, Tukarski, I think, and Stalock, I think, were the best ones, right? Yeah, Tukarski, Stalock, Leighton, Hudobin, and Limbach are pretty much like the best ones there. And we don't need to back up, so we're perfectly fine. Okay, so other than that, I think the only defenseman I would want to pick up is Ben Lovejoy. I think that would be the only thing I would want to grab up here in free agency. Oh yeah, and a fourth line forward. Let's let's check that out first too. See about fourth line forwards. Um, somebody with a really good defensive category could sign for one year for cheap. Because how much salary do I have? I have 9.5 of cap available with two retained caps. Um, I really could have 10. I really could have close to 11. I would have 11 mil right now. If I had the cap room, I could use a second line forward. I could use a second liner on the team too. I just realized that a second liner. Is there any player right here that's like second line material? Maybe Andrew Ladd. Put him next to Braden Shen. And who's the other second liner I have? Well, I, I need a first liner, technically. Well, Simmons is my first liner. But I need, like, another second liner, too. Because I have... Well, isn't Couturier a second liner, I think? I think Couturier is actually considered a second liner. So, I could have Ladd, Couturier, and Shen as my second pair. Wouldn't be bad. But do I go out and make a trade for, like, one of those guys? Ladd doesn't want that much. He only wants six mil in two years. It's, it's short. He's is only thirty. He is already thirty years old. Or you could get a guy like David Perron, who might be a little bit better as a second line forward. How much did he do this year? He had forty points. He got you forty points, which isn't bad. How much did uh, Andrew Ladd get last year? Hold on, full career stats. Can I shuffle back and forth? No, I can't. What about uh, David, what about Andrew Ladd? Lad got 60 points last year. No, he got 40 points last year. So once again, eh. So uh, there's that for free agency. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at uh, the depth forwards, Joe. Come on, before I end this video, look at the depth forwards. Uh, sign free agents. I love how free agent like the menus are just so much quicker. Uh, so helpful now. All right, uh, fourth line guys. Who would I want to sign for the fourth line? Kind of like these guys, like the third line scores of the fourth liners right around here is where I want to start at. So, P.A. Parento maybe? No, he's a playmaker. I want good defensive categories. Nick Spalling would be a pretty nice little uh, player right there. He wants three years, but I would definitely give him one. Let's just keep looking through all these guys. So, Spalling, uh, Horkoff. Horkoff wouldn't be bad. He's 37 though. Definitely getting up there in age. Uh, Chris Neal, no thanks. Stewart, no thanks. Uh, 41 games, no thanks. Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly would be a good addition as well. Really good defensive category. He's got good discipline too for a grinder. Chris Kelly would be a solid choice. Vernon Fiddler. Uh, Jordan Caron. Jordan Caron is still... Well, nah. Uh, Del Weiss. Chip Chura. Terry. Travis Moen is not terrible either. Uh, Brad Malone, Brower, Setaguchi, Gianta, Daniel Paye. I think it would either be, I think it would, uh, a solid choice there would be either Daniel Paye or Chris Kelly. And Kelly would be a solid pick. He doesn't even want that much. We could get Paye on like a two way deal. But I think uh, getting Chris Kelly would be a solid choice there. His defensive category is really great. He's a center if we need to play them him there. But, um,. I think the fourth, well, technically we do need a center. Yeah, well, Ryan White is a center, but they have him on right wing, but in any case, uh, Kelly would be a solid choice. Kelly would be a solid, solid choice. Defensive awareness of 85, 85, and 87. He'd be a great penalty killer, too. He'd be an awesome penalty killer. I think that would be a really good choice there to sign Chris Kelly and then get uh, Ben Lovejoy for our defense, of course. So I think those are the, those are the options that I have, guys, in my head. But let me know if you guys think of anything else there that you might want me to do as well. But I think those would be my solid choices to sign Chris Kelly and then Ben Lovejoy. And then uh, go to the next season and see about the overall jumps and see what happens. But let me know what you guys think in the next video. And then we'll do a whole kind of 
team review, set up all the set up all the lines, maybe make some trades if we need to, and then we shall take it from there. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode of our Flyers GM.